हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी श्री मुलिका देवी महाविद्यालय निगोज तालुका पारने डिस्ट्रिक्ट अहमदनगर इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वॉज लर्न द सम इम्पॉर्टेंट हाइब्रिड्स ऑफ सिल्क मॉथ यूजिंग सेरिकल्चर इंडस्ट्री नाउ टूडे आई विल डिस्कस विथ यू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज स्टडी ऑफ सिल्क रेरिंग हाउस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक according to silkworm rearing or your sericulture activity so let us start the study of silkworm rearing house you know a rearing house is a very important in sericulture activity because your your silkworm is required a ideal house for rearing because you know the silkworm is very sensitive to their temperature and environmental condition that is another environmental condition for example uh, humidity and temperature a uh, ideal or separate rearing house required for silkworm rearing the rearing house should have certain order as the silkworm rearing activity for example you know silkworm is very sensitive to their weather condition that is humidity and temperature so if you want to the contrast and built up rearing house in your farm you can always consider some important aspect for example your rearing house should be provide optimum temperature and they are maintain the humidity of a proper and suitable humidity inside rearing house the rearing house should have sufficient number of windows to permit a cross ventilation this is very important if you want to the culture silkworm inside your rearing house that time you are always kept in your mind your rearing house have a sufficient number of windows these windows is helpful to ventilation to make a provision that is air tight disinfection after the one cycle cycle is completed it is necessary to take a next important decision that is to disinfectified whole the rearing house so it is necessary to provide and take the provision your rearing house should be air tight rearing house has a, has been contrasted in such way to provide optimum temperature that is 26 to 28 degree centigrade this is the optimum temperature for silkworm rearing so you are always contrast your rearing house in such way this will be provide this optimum temperature that is 26 to 28 degree centigrade and the humidity should be maintained between the 60 to 70 percent these are the again very important aspect you are always kept in your mind during the construction of the rearing house your rearing house should be maintained the humidity between the 60 to 70 this is a good for growth and development of silkworm and these are the figures as a minimum of operational level or operational cost next point that is very important ensure the rearing house should be proper ventilation optimum temperature and proper humidity it is necessary to always focus during the uh, contraction of your rearing house your rearing house should be provide optimum temperature and kept a optimum humidity also to avoid this is again very important point during the contraction of rearing house to avoid the damp condition stagnation of air then direct expose of bright sunlight inside the rearing house and strong wind should be avoided inside the rearing house means during the contraction of your rearing house you are always avoid damp condition damp condition means a uh, very close to the uh, your uh, watery uh, water body 
that time you are always facing some another problem during the rearing of silkworm then direct sunlight should not be enter inside the your rearing house so keep it in mind to avoid the direct expose of bright sunlight in rearing house then strong wind vara dekhil tumcha rearing house madhe enter nahi kela pahije and last point that is to avoid the your animal entry that is domestic animals entry to avoid the domestic animal entry in your rearing house this is the some basic aspect uh, during the construction of your rearing house you should be kept in your mind and construct uh, your rearing house as per the this rule and regulation this is a photo image of rearing house these are the uh, proper diagrammatic representation of rearing house you can observe in here these are the window of rearing house then second one that is rearing room then some uh, storage room then uh, uh, you are also looking these are the uh, parapet wall they will be present in bottom of the your rearing house so if you are interested to contrast rearing house in your farm you are always uh, study this proper and concrete diagrammatic representation for during the construction and after the construction you are looking these are the some photo images you can observe these are the rearing house generally constructed in karnataka and andhra pradesh these are the very good rearing house for the silkworm rearing they are provide uh, optimum temperature and maintain the humidity also these are the well constructed rearing house and you are observing these are the mulberry plants garden near the rearing house so to avoid the uh, extra cost of the transportation of mulberry leaves then uh, to loss of water from the mulberry leaves so you are always contrast your rearing house in close to the mulberry garden next one that is some basic features study of some basic features of rearing house rearing house should be built up depending upon brushing capacity and methods of rearing silkworm rearing you know according to silkworm rearing you are always built up on contrast your rearing house in that first one that is rearing area is it is uh, just on an average area they are uh, described some scientists the rearing area required 2 square feet oblique 100 dfls sorry uh, per dfls per dfls you are required 2 square feet area for floor rearing and for floor rearing it will be required 3 square feet per dfls and for if you want to the start the shrub rearing this will be required the 3 square feet per dfls this is the a uh, general criteria of silkworm rearing if you want to the start the floor rearing that time you required 2 square feet per dfls 3 square feet per dfl in shrub rearing methods so according to your methods you can build up your rearing house and brushing capacity rearing house should have a main rearing hall and remaining is a leaf preservating or leaf preservation room the if you want to build up your rearing house the main rearing house or main rearing hall should be 8 into 8 feet this is a a general criteria and you can construct or build up one small leaf preservation room inside the your rearing house this is necessary because after the harvesting of mulberry leaves 
it is necessary to preserve your mulberry plant in proper way so it will be required one preservation room so this preservation room is also built up in your rearing house maintaining a separate chokki room chokki it is the earlier stage of silk worm up during the hatching of your silk silk worm eggs that will be called as chokki room this room is separate and it is very important during your eggs hatching so it is called as chokki room a, a must for two pilot rearing system that is rearing room is 10 into 14 feet and height is 9 into 10 feet these are the uh, optimum and on an average area required for one acre garden it is ideal figures described on here you can always follow this figure for a good result a rearing house should be face east west direction you know if you want to build up your rearing house that time your rearing house face should be east west direction because to avoid a direct entry of bright sunlight inside the rearing house so you are always to be pile as uh, maximum time the rearing house is should be built up in east west direction the reason behind this that is to avoid the direct sunlight of inside the your rearing house rearing house should have facility to maintain the required environmental condition you know if you want to the build up your rearing house you are always kept in your mind your rearing house should be provide optimum and required environmental condition for the growth of silk worm larva growing up and planting some trees around the rearing house it will be helpful to maintain a favorable environment if you are grow or plant some trees around the rearing house this will be helpful to maintain a minimum temperature or optimum temperature inside the your rearing house because a particular area is a very good for or favorable for the silk worm rearing so you can always plant some trees around the rearing house a rearing house should be contrasted taking consider consideration following points such as effective dis disinfection and washable floor or bottom during the construction of rearing house you are always focus and consider the following point that is effective disinfection after the one cycle is completed it is necessary to disinfectify all the rearing house and second most important point that is washable floor or bottom of your rearing house after the completion you are always wash by using clean water your rearing house this will be necessary the room should be kept close to uh, close for 24 hours after the disinfection you know after the disinfection it is necessary to close your room for 24 hours that is uh, to maintain an hygienic condition sorry hygienic condition inside the rearing house for this infection you can use chlorine dioxide chlorine dioxide these are the chemical you can use for this infection uh, the on an average amount of chlorine di dioxide is 500 ml chlorine dioxide plus 5, uh, 15 g activator mix into 20 liter water and use this mixture for disinfection this is the 
आइडियल मिक्सचर ऑफ डिस इन्फेक्शन ऑफ यूर रेयरिंग हाउस यूजिंग क्लोरिन डाइऑक्साइड this is last slide that is photograph of rearing house this photographs was captured in our taluka that is parnel taluka in one sericulture farm this is a on an average rearing house they are contrasted by the farmers in low cost you can observe these are the built up area that is parapet wall these are the parapet wall and after the construction of this whole the rearing house they are closed by using mesh net like uh, net to avoid the direct entry of wind and sunlight also then these are the top area they are use uh, uh, metal material for the construction of top top area so i hope you are understand this all the things if you have any question regarding rearing house you can ask me in comment back uh, comment box or you are also uh, contact with me by using email regarding any difficulty and any problems of this point thank you very much for your presentation